Hello again and welcome to another tutorial. This is Rick with Simple Tech 888. What do you prefer, a PC or a Mac? Which one do you think is better? It's all on preferences. Um, for me, I, I can use Mac. I think their operating system is very uh, reliable. Um, however, I somehow prefer using a PC because it's easy for me to navigate but wouldn't it be um, neat if we can put both of them together well in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can install Windows onto a MacBook before we can do that please don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification if you think the video is uh, helpful please give it a thumbs up before we begin um, just want to remind you that you always want to back up um, your files um, regardless if it's a Mac or a PC anytime you're trying to do something to your device um, in this case um, installing another operating system and somehow you made a mistake and you delete it or erase a, a drive that has all your your data then uh, you might lose it so the best thing to do is just always back up any um, file you have before proceeding so and for this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can install uh, Windows onto a MacBook uh, the reason why I mentioned uh, that I like to have to use uh, a PC on a uh, MacBook is because the processor uh, on a Mac is a lot more um, efficient than on a PC itself. Um, PC sometimes use AMD or Intel or even a low, uh, slower processor uh, Celeron but over time with PC it, it, it lags and it gets slow because uh, when it comes to PC you have all these things that are being um, downloaded on your device over time and that will slow down your your PC so uh, one of the reasons why I like Mac not because I like to use uh, the Mac OS itself uh, even though I think it's very um, uh, durable uh, reliable but um, I prefer to install a PC or Windows 10 on it so that way at least I can choose either um, if I need to use something that can only work on a Mac then I can use a Mac and uh, most of the time uh, it's easier for me to navigate using uh, a PC so in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to do that the first thing you want to do is go down here to the finder on the bottom left click on it and then choose application on the left panel and then scroll down see uh, here's all the applications so if you scroll down there's a folder called call utilities open it and then there's a an application called bootcamp assistant double click it and before you uh, proceed right here on the bottom left um, there's a, uh, a button that says open bootcamp help so uh, the first thing you want to do is you need to download a file called Windows ISO uh, that you're gonna need that in order to uh, install uh, Windows on here so here it gives you a link um, if you scroll down a little bit it gives you a link for the ISO file all you do is just click on it scroll down and then just follow the step uh, you're gonna choose Windows 10 confirm and also and I also, also leave a link for this um, in the description below but uh, if you prefer to go through the uh, bootcamp help then it, it has it right there for you here it says uh, the product language uh, uh, for this purpose we're going to choose English confirm and then here all you do is choose 64 bit and it will start to download on the top right here there's a little um, share um, icon here that's where it's uh, I mean sorry not share there's a little download button right here you're going to see it downloading onto uh, 
the download folder. So with that being said, it's going to take a while um, for it to download the ISO file. So we'll go ahead and close it. I already downloaded it, so um, we'll go ahead and continue on. So here, you click continue. And uh, down here, you see there's the Mac OS. That's where the, um, the Mac OS operating system is loaded. Right now, it has 84 gigabyte of uh, memory or storage. I'm sorry, not memory, storage. And uh, most of it is is, uh, is used up by the operating system. So you actually only have 51 gigabyte. This MacBook uh, has a capacity of 120 gig. So right now, to install Windows, you actually have to, to partition it. And this um, and uh, this process right here through the boot camp will let you uh, partition and have a separate drive for the window Windows operating system. Right now, the Windows operating system has 37 gigabyte uh, for the ISO file for Windows uh, Windows 10 it actually only need uh, probably up to 6 to 8 gigabyte so you have uh, some room left for um, storage but you can actually um, change this by clicking on this and dragging it um, but for this purpose we'll go ahead and split it evenly 60-60 um, on each side so Mac OS will have um, 61 gigabyte of storage and Windows PC will have 60 gigabyte of storage. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind, if your Mac does not have at least Mojave OS, then it will fail uh, through this uh, step. So if you have something like Sierra uh, or older, um, then you need to upgrade that to at least Mojave and uh, to upgrade it sometimes you go into the uh, Apple store you, you, it's hard to find it I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below and you can uh, click on that link to uh, upgrade the uh, Mac OS to Mojave so here um, once you have done that then we'll go ahead and click install oh before we can click so, sorry Go ahead and click on choose. You need to find that ISO file that you have downloaded. Um, so go ahead on the left, click download. And here is the Windows 10 iOS file. Go ahead and click open. And that's the uh, file you're going to need. Go And then after that, click install. And it's going to take some time to install. Um, I'll be back to show you the, uh, the next step you need to do um, most of it is just um, setting it up um, just the same same way if, if you just bought the PC you know going through and creating a user account and so forth so I'm um, gonna we'll go ahead and pause it and I'll come back the uh, setup uh, ends not ends but got you to this point where it's asking for um, to add the user uh, file vault and their password uh, you can actually uh, don't have to enter anything there just go ahead and click cancel and give it a moment um, it will uh, boot up again as you can see uh, Windows um, logo is coming up so you're gonna go through the setup uh, for Windows, once it, it starts up uh, at the um, the beginning screen, so we'll go ahead and let it uh, take its course, and I'll come back uh, to this. Now, if you see, it's uh, the Windows or the font is very tiny, but we can adjust that after. But there's one important step that you need to remember to do. Um, that way you can adjust it um, through the uh, resolution the sp display uh, settings or else um, the resolution um, will be grayed out and you, you'll be stuck and you have to redo all the process again so here um, English English let me uh, zoom in for you so you can see that a little bit better and then go ahead and click next just leave leave everything as a uh, default now here it is asking for um, uh, a key. Uh, 
installing window you do have to have a um, a key um, product key uh, that will cost money unless you have you know somehow obtain the product key um, on that you have to purchase the uh, Microsoft product key for Windows uh, for now just go ahead and click I don't have a product key and then choose uh, because this is a, a district uh, device uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose education but for you whatever whatever uh, Windows you purchase either as professional or education or uh, standard um, you have to select that type of um, system for Windows so go ahead and click check the accept the uh, terms and agreement box click next and then you're gonna choose bootcamp is where you're gonna install Windows on so click next it's gonna go through the uh, Windows installation uh, part again um, I mentioned to you a couple of times but this is gonna take a few minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and come back here as you can see uh, the setup takes uh, quite a bit um, I would say roughly 30 minutes uh, or more to um, completely finish uh, installing uh, Windows so you're just gonna have to be patient because it has to to run through its course um, we're almost to the finish line so go ahead and uh, hang on there and I'll go pause and come back okay it's still going um, like I say it's gonna take uh, quite a while um, but here we are at the uh, setup the initial setup go ahead and click yes and choose your country uh, for United States the reason why I want to take you through all the step because um, once it's completed there's something um, I want to show you um, that's important in order to uh, be able to change the resolution um, on this so go ahead and click uh, US and click yes for the keyboard uh, here you can actually skip the keyboard layout you don't have to worry about that and here to say I don't have internet because um, it requires internet to uh, finish but uh, because this Mac doesn't have an Ethernet um, uh, port to plug in um, you're gonna have to uh, pass that part and Wi-Fi is not on yet until uh, ironic you can't have Wi-Fi until the PC uh, is completed but you can't complete it uh, without internet so it's uh, it's contradicting but uh, you can I'll show you how to get through this part so just click on I don't have internet here just go ahead and uh, continue without uh, with limited setup that means no internet connection um, here I uh, will go ahead and name it user and then the password whatever that is you want I'm gonna have to confirm it again click next then I'm gonna go ahead and answer the three security question before we move on so I'm gonna pause and then um, go back uh, go back once I complete this so I don't want you to watch uh, something that is not necessary uh, I have um, entered all the security question there's three um, in total um, go ahead and click accept accept I'm sorry for the blurriness uh, for some reason my um, recording device um, is a little bit uh, blurry um, but it's clear now maybe it's in the dark that's why so um, right here it says this this may take several minutes uh, so don't turn off your PC just let it run its course I'm gonna go ahead and pause it one more time and come back Okay, we are at uh, we are actually uh, complete um, here. 
there's a bootcamp window that comes up you need to install this or else you're going to run into a lot of problem so here just go ahead and click next accept install and let it install this doesn't take as long as the uh, the the actual windows 10 setup um, this one is actually a little bit quicker but it still uh, needs time to install bootcamp and once you install bootcamp because uh, through the um, Mac OS uh, bootcamp assistant there's a lot of um, application in here that allows you to um, turn on your Wi-Fi because if you don't do this part you're not gonna have Wi-Fi capability and because the device doesn't have a, a port to plug in the Ethernet so you can get connected to the internet then you're gonna be in a lot of trouble so you need to complete this step uh, I'll go ahead and let it uh, finish and come back. Oh, one other thing that um, the bootcamp installation is important because if you look here, every the icon is so so tiny and everything is small. So normally on Windows, you can change that by right clicking on the screen and going to display settings. If you go through the display settings here, if you can see. The display resolution is grayed out, so you don't have an option to to um, make it bigger. So you're going to be stuck with very tiny, tiny uh, font. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you have to let this boot camp uh, finish uh, installing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause and come back. Boot camp is uh, finishing up installing. Uh, it's now completed just go ahead and click finish you must restart your system for configuration change made to the bootcamp so um, with any Windows uh, uh, application normally it, it forces to restart so go ahead and click yes now because we were on Windows and it's, it's restarting on Windows uh, instead of Mac. Um, later on, uh, the last uh, part of the tutorial is I'm going to show you how you can choose between which oper operating system you want to um, use in the beginning. So here, go ahead and click on um, login first. the uh, video is not distorted it just um, windows trying to load up now you can see if you go to the bottom right uh, where the uh, network is uh, actually it works this time um, I had an issue earlier um, when I was trying to do this and uh, Wi-Fi wasn't available uh, because the bootcamp like I mentioned earlier, but now it is, as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, we connect to the Wi-Fi in Mac, so that's fine. So it's auto connect if you jump over to the Mac OS. But for here, Windows is uh, pretty much brand new, so you have to uh, sign into uh, Wi-Fi. And now you're connected. So. Uh, like I said earlier, if you right click on the desktop and go to display settings and make sure you click on display. If you scroll down, now the resolution, you can actually uh, see it. Um, you can change to whatever resolution you want. Um, it's not grayed out. So uh, let me try this. 1920, keep the change. And there you go. Window has been installed. So that is how you install Windows on an op uh, on a Mac um, device. Um, earlier, I mentioned that you have to have a product key uh, to use Window. They give you about thirty days to activate. Um, in order to activate it, is very easy. Um, 
go ahead and click on one of the folders here if you want to the file explorer and here for the PC just right click on the PC and go to property if you scroll down let me see here change the product key or upgrade so if you click on there and you enter the product product key it will automatically activate windows for you um, and here it is it's it, it is installed on bootcamp drive uh, drive C and they call it bootcamp because this is a MacBook not a not a PC so that's why you see and then as you can see there's a uh, 31 gig uh, available a uh, free space from 56 uh, earlier we set it to 60 gig but because of the Windows operating system it takes up that much uh, like um, once uh, the file ISO uh, itself is 6 to 8 gig but once you execute the the um, the um, software um, it expands so it takes up a lot of space so um, for now Windows you only have uh, about 31 gig of uh, free space so keep that in mind um, and the last step I mentioned to you that um, I'm going to show you how you can um, switch between devices is very simple so I'm going to go ahead and hold down the power button turn this off Make sure uh, give it about five ten seconds to completely shut down. Then I'm going to turn it back on. But while I do that, I'm going to hold down the option button. If you can see, I'm holding down the option key. And what you see here is all the drive that you have partitioned. Bootcamp is window. And if you, you know as you can see another window um, don't be uh, worried too much about that this the first one if you click window it's gonna load into Windows if you want to go back to Mac uh, OS then click on the Mac OS um, click the arrow and it's gonna load uh, on Mac OS so uh, this is how you get to use two different operating system um, um, I love doing this to all my Mac um, I have a iMac which is a desktop uh, machine for uh, Mac OS and I install uh, Windows on there and I basically use Windows all the time <laughs> I hardly use a Mac because uh, I prefer PC um, here you just sign in um, uh, normally so um, that concludes for this video. I hope this helped you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification. And uh, don't forget, uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, thank you and I'll see you on the next one.